What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am taking you to explore the best cafes of Colombo and as a bonus, I am going to be showing you the best ways to get around Colombo as well. So let's get into it. So growing up in Colombo, there are a few things that are very nostalgic. The Wobwe Mutai Man, the tuk-tuk that sells your bakery, the traveling tuk-tuk. And of course, if you grew up in our generation, Commons Cafe is one of those haunts that we've been going to since we were really young. I'm very excited to share Commons with you because not only is it a special place for most of us young people here in Colombo, there is a reason why it is still popular today and that is because it's one of those perfect places to come with a group of friends because their menu has a variety of different things which means that everyone can have what they want. You want a pasta, you want a burger, you want to eat Sri Lankan, you want to have something fusion. Commons has something for everyone. <laughs> table we have right now a fusion dish that has become quite popular in Sri Lanka which is the polsam bowl, egg and cheese panini. Um, we've got a lovely fried veggie burger. We've got their famous, very popular amongst all of us who used to have this as a kid as well, chocolate milkshake, mint and lime frappe, chicken picanta and of course this is I think the main uh, thing that I want to talk to you guys about. This is why you should come to Commons because it's a place where you can grab Sri Lankan but also a few other things so you can have maybe a little bit of everything before you leave Colombo, you know, or maybe you miss the Sri Lankan food that you've been having while you've been on the road. So this is what it is. I mean, even for me, when I can't pick between having kottu, whole roti or egg rotis, this is perfect. I can share this with Shehan, maybe even one more person and I'd be good, I'd be very satisfied. Before iced coffee became all the hype on TikTok and Instagram, Sri Lankans have been having iced coffee as a part of their daily life for, I don't know, years. We grew up having this kind of iced coffee in this same glass and it still smells exactly the same. And that's the kind of iced coffee that your mom or your aunt or your grandma makes. Now this, this right here is the modern day iced coffee, you know, it's large, it's got all the work, so whichever one you want to have, you can find it here. And I think that's why we all love coffee. So one of the most classic ways of getting around Colombo for years and years have been to get yourself a tuk-tuk straight off the road. And there is one really important thing to keep in mind when you do get a tuk-tuk off the road, which is to make sure that they're running their meters. All of these tuk-tuks, like nowadays, all the tuk-tuks do have meters, and most of them will run the meter even without you asking. But for some of them, you will have to tell them, do you have meter, will you run the meter? And if they say they aren't running the meter, then the most important thing that you must do is to negotiate the price before you get in. So agree on a price before you get in and confirm it before you get in so you can avoid any kind of conflicting situations. So let's get one. That's quite easy. And the other most important thing to remember is that when you're taking tooks, you always need to carry cash. Next up on our list of cafes is one of my absolute favorites. I had a really big problem where I would only want to come here and my friends hated me for it. I'm going to take you to Kiki. that I love Kiku is because it is one of the only cafes in Colombo or in Sri Lanka that is Japanese inspired which sets it apart in my opinion from all the other cafes 
So while they do have all your regular cafe items, you know, they have the cold fresh juices and the coffees and everything. We decided to go with a selection from their menu that really shows their fusion culture. So to give you an example, this dish right here is their udon kimchi carbonara. Uh, it's made with miso and it is so flavorful and tasty. I love miso, I love kimchi, so I just had a bite of this and it's just mm, so good. We're having uh, veggie summer rolls, prawn gyozas. Shehan is having the sasebo burger, which looks divine. And of course, their lovely Hyozon salad. Now, I haven't had this one before. This is new, but was very highly recommended by management. So I'm gonna dig into it and see how it tastes. Something different from the usual cold press in the coffee, which they do have here as well, by the way. This is their elderflower syrup and this is their hibiscus syrup soda. Both are sodas and mm, very refreshing and not sweet, not too sweet, which is what I like. In a relatively central location, so there's a lot of different kinds of people that like to come here. People like to drop in, grab a coffee, they like to come with their laptops, you know, maybe meet someone. Uh, do some work and of course there's the new addition to Kiku which is the playpen right here which means that if you're a family and you want to put the kids down to just play while you have your meal Kiku is also the place for you and last but certainly not least if you are someone who loves fusion food this is a place for you because this is a very unique experience you can have in Colombo. And we are at Seed Cafe, which is another one of my favorites, of course, found in the heart of Colombo in Horton Place. Very unique because it's very close to the road, but inside here you don't feel too much like you're in an urban space because of the architecture. It's a very old colonial style architecture, so the place itself is interesting to come and see. Very nice menu with lots of amazing dishes. They've got the healthy stuff, they've got Thai food, and they've got your comfort food as well. So a very nice range. One thing that really sets it apart from other cafes is that there is a yoga studio called Prana Lounge just located right well they are connected to each other, they are sharing the same space. So if you are somebody who is in town and you know you want to take a few yoga classes and then finish up and have a healthy drink and some food, this is the place for you. Today we are having the roast pumpkin and kale salad. They've also got red curry thai chicken with sticky rice, as well as their creamy macaroni with full beef. This is a new dish. We've also got the ocean dream, a yummy banana and spirulina drink with peanut butter, mango lassi, a classic. They've also got pistachios in here, very nice. And this is my favorite, the Coco Berry Dream. I don't know what is in here. There's chocolate and berries and peanut butter, but it is so indulgent and good. Next up on our list of transport that can get you around Colombo is your old school cab, the one that you call and order and it arrives at your doorstep and here it is right now so when i talk about this kind of cab service i'm specifically talking about one that has been around for quite some time which is kangaroo cabs and there are a number of reasons why i think this is very special in itself so this kind of cab service almost died out when pick me and uber was introduced but they've been able to carve out a very special niche for themselves which i think makes them irreplaceable so imagine you need to go somewhere and you know exactly what time you need to be there and you cannot afford to be late you know in advance that you need to be here the best thing to do is to call up a cab like this kangaroo cabs perhaps call them up let them know and they will be there on time so punctuality is something that you can expect from this kind of cab service 
and number two is that you can pay by card which makes the whole process so much easier thirdly they are a cap that you can keep with you the whole day so they keep the meter running and say you need to do some shopping run some errands you're new around town and you don't want to be waiting with your shopping bags um, waiting for a cab or uber to come pick you up this is great you can keep all your bags in here the driver will wait with you and it is very convenient in that sense and of course the drivers are very professional and you that is something that's really important to you that's also a great thing about this kind of cab service i would say maybe one downside is that it does take a little bit of time for the cab to come so that's the only thing so if you're in a rush to get from a to b it might not be the best solution but it really depends on what kind of trip you're trying to make so there's a pro and a con for each kind of transport that you choose here in Colombo. Another great thing is that they have these very large and spacious cars which make it very comfortable to travel in but they also have vans if you have a big group of people and you all want to go around town together. garden cafe and they have a very nice space here in the middle of Colombo so it's perfect if you're exploring and you want to just drop in to grab a bite they've got a really great menu that has a lot of variety so whatever kind of food you like to eat whether you're a meat eater or you like to have your vegan and vegetarian food you have certain types of milk that you can't have there's something here at Kumbu and something delicious for you I am having Mama D's pan fried mushrooms on avocado toast and of course they are top notch, I'm enjoying it. I'm also having their iced spice latte, Shan is having a regular latte and he's going to come and tell you about his delicious looking dish. Alright, so I'm having the sea bass, a very good dish, always try the seafood when you're in Sri Lanka. Another thing Shane forgot to mention is that this place is a great place if you're a co-worker, if you're a digital nomad, you want to come spend some time, sit and work. You see a lot of people doing that. They also have an Airbnb on top, so that's also a plus point. Uh, very close to sort of go all around the city and have a cafe right beneath your rooms. We are now at one of my favorite haunts in Colombo, which is Travelling Brancher. I love this place for a couple of reasons. So number one being is that they have this amazing rooftop location which makes it ideal for sunsets and evenings. And it's also ideal because even though it is a brunch place, it's probably the only brunch place or one of the few brunch places in Colombo that you can actually get cocktails and alcohol at all day. It is not just a brunch spot, they are open throughout the day and in the evenings they have some fantastic events taking place. There's always something fun happening, there's always something happening for um, ladies nights on Wednesdays, girl gang Wednesdays, something's happening over the weekend at all times. So it's a very happening spot with a lot of different food. Another reason that I really love this cafe is their really cool menu. There's nothing else like it here in Colombo because they have a lot of Western dishes with the Lankan spin on it. This is a good example of it. This is the Mr. Crabs, which is a brioche bun filled with uh, crab meat. Very popular in Sri Lanka to have um, stuffed crab. And this is a spin on a lobster roll. And of course, we have the famous burger, the Lokka, which is two layers of butter fried mushroom. Now, this usually comes in beef and chicken, but I have forced them over my time of coming here to make a vegetarian version out of butter fried mushroom, and it is so good and uh, mm, also delicious looking loaded beef fries that is for Shehan to enjoy with mozzarella I believe and sriracha looks good. And finally, another reason why you should visit this cafe is because it's located in a very interesting spot. It is in the business district or the business hub of Colombo, Nava Mavata. So on your tour around Colombo, when you're visiting this cafe, you're going to get to experience a very different side of Colombo as well, in Sri Lanka to be honest. Nyanaka and uh, Mr. Crabs. This is like a bay crab in a bun. And if you're in Sri Lanka, you should try bay crab at some point because it's like a specialty here. We export some of the world's best crab out of Sri Lanka. So definitely check this out. This one is awesome. 
and the fries look deadly which I'm going to have after. So next up is another popular place to grab some really good coffee and that is the Department of Coffee. This place is in the heart of Colombo and it's actually right opposite the racecourse ground. So let's go in and get some coffee. Coffee is ideal for those of you that are serious coffee connoisseurs and if you appreciate single origin beans from around the world then this is the place for you to check out. But that is not the only thing that I love about the Department of Coffee. In fact, they support the local industry, the coffee industry quite a bit because if you order a coffee and you don't specify, they're always going to use Sri Lankan beans, which I love. And if you are interested about the coffee industry of Sri Lanka, you want to know more about it, stay tuned. We will be doing a video on it for our industry series coming soon. On top of making really great coffee, they also have a couple of experiences available where you can see the different brewing methods and that is also something unique to the department of coffee. I haven't seen that anywhere else, I might be wrong. And on top of that, they do not play around with their food. They have some amazing food, they have their usual cafe classics like avocado toast and wraps and burgers but their dinner menu which is available throughout the day is something that I'm really enjoying so far they have amazing dishes like Caribbean inspired chicken, moda and a lot more so definitely check them out Like I said, it is located very centrally in Colombo, opposite the beautiful racecourse ground building. So you do get to sit here and watch the traffic go by and life in Colombo go by as you have your coffee and your meals. Another great way to get around is to use the ride hailing apps and we have two here in Colombo which is Uber and Pick Me, the local counterpart. have the option of cars, small cars or the premier version which are like the luxury vehicles as well as the tuk-tuks and honestly the great thing about this is it takes the guesswork out. You book the cab, the rate is already decided, your routes are already decided and you don't even have to give directions most of the time which is top-notch in my opinion and you can also book vans with this for longer uh, trips. So this is something that is very beneficial if you're going into other towns and cities as well. In my opinion, it is best to have both apps, Uber and uh, Pick Me, which is uh, the local counterpart, like I mentioned earlier, because sometimes one app will have more drivers than the other. So in a tight situation, it's also better to have both, especially during peak hours in Colombo. The downside of using the apps, of course, is that unlike stepping onto the road and hailing a taxi uh, or a tuk-tuk you don't know how long it will take to come sometimes it can take five minutes sometimes ten minutes sometimes a little bit longer Sri Lanka is extremely popular for their Ceylon tea and Dilma is a name that is very well known throughout the world as well. The Dilma Tea Lounge offers a very unique experience that you can have when you're in Colombo. So we're trying some of the dishes off their seasonal menu. For food we have the chicken wellington as well as the Christmas wreath and I think the main thing here is of course the drinks. Also from their seasonal menu we have the Earl Grey eggnog, lovely. We also have the non-alcoholic mulled wine. This is the tea kish, also the seasonal version. The standard version is a spin on the Sri Lankan milk tea that you find everywhere in every small shop in rural areas and in Colombo. It is a regular Sri Lankan tea, Ceylon tea, with a shot of condensed milk and it tastes so good. It tastes like home. This is just like that, but of course the seasonal one has some extra goodies in it. It's got some turmeric and some ginger and some mint. And my God, all of that just really take the flavor of this milk tea and elevate it to another level. So this 
tastes like Christmas. It's absolutely amazing. This property here in Horton Place, Colombo, has a dessert bar, which means you can come here not just for meals and drinks, but there's a dedicated dessert bar as well. This is one of the must-try places on my list simply because it is so unique and there's very few places that you get to see the variety of ways you can use Ceylon tea. Downstairs they also have a tea shop which is great if you're looking to pick up some souvenirs or some gifts or some tea for yourself. You've got some of the best tea right downstairs here in Horton Place Colombo. Just pop into their shop and they have a variety of delicious tea and very high quality tea for you to select and take back home with you. So we are now at the Barefoot Cafe, which is a very special place here in the heart of Colombo. It's a very special place because over the years it has become a place where people that admire and love the arts tend to gather. And that's what makes this place special because there's not only a cafe here, but there's also the gallery which began before the cafe, right next to it. And that's become a place where you can sh see some of these wonderful artists in Sri Lanka showcasing their work. But it's also become a place where you have a lot of these creative events and gatherings and shows and performances, musical performances, jazz performances, that all happen here at the Barefoot Garden Cafe. So there's a very unique vibe to this property. And of course at the front of the property you have the Barefoot Shop. This is what started everything in the 1960s when Barbara Sansoni, who is a very popular figure in the art scene in Sri Lanka, introduced the hand loom barefoot material which she started selling out from her own home and eventually began the barefoot shop which now has become a place where you can pick up all of the creations that have been inspired by her work but also some amazing souvenirs on your trip here which then led to the gallery being opened and then to the cafe being opened so it's been a knock-on effect and so over the years it's been a long time building up to this it has become a very loved place amongst people in Sri Lanka, travellers and people who live abroad who hope to come here as well. So it is a very unique place in Colombo. My favourite thing is the fact that it is so lush and it's so uh, wonderful and it feels like you're outdoors in a rural area, not in an urban space. You can't hear the vehicles passing by. So I really love that. The architecture here is also very unique. So that's definitely adding to the aesthetic of the place so overall it is a place that I definitely recommend you check out when you're in Colombo. Fantastic food of course very concise menu but everything on it is really great. I'm having the moda which is a classic when you're in Colombo you gotta try the fish because we're close to the sea. Shan's having the hot butter prawns again hot butter is another keyword to look out for when you're eating in Colombo it's a very unique spin of Sri Lankan Chinese that we Sri Lankans love to eat. So yeah, lime soda, nice jazz music. Last but not least, the cheapest way, but definitely the biggest experience of getting around Colombo or anywhere on the island is the local bus system. quite a few amazing places on this list that's because I really wanted this to be a top 10 list however we just ran out of time but if you do have a favorite that we've missed out and you'd like to see another video on it drop it down in the comments below and while you're at it do let me know what you think of these series the best of series and what would you like to see coming up in this series 
and stay tuned because up next is our next video on the Columbo series which you can check right now and that's it for this one I will see you guys in the next video bye